topic to this part of the computer architecture tutorial. Today we'll demonstrate the branch prediction. In last in the last video we have came through the branch stalls. Uh, we said that the uh, our previous architecture used to stall the instruction following the branch instruction by one clock cycle in order to make the branch instruction uh, evaluates whether it is is it going to branch or not whether the branch will be taken or not taken so the solution for this was the branch prediction the branch prediction is actually allowing uh, uh, the processor to predict the next stage this can be done in many ways one of this way is the one bit predictor and the other one is the two bit predictors we will uh, come through both types today in the tutorial so the question says the branch prediction uh, con consider uh, the uh, following sequence so we're considering the following sequence uh, colloquially uh, that um, t is taken and is not taken uh, the following sequence is coming uh, to the processor so what does the one bit product predictor do uh, it, is, it, it, it changes, it, it, it assumes that the next stage would be the same as the stage we are in now. What does that mean? It will appear in the uh, solution. So, our, the, the initially, the predictor state was not taken. So, the processor would assume that the next branch would not be taken. Accordingly, it uh, will execute uh, the instruction following the branch. If you have for instruction one says blah blah blah, instruction two is a branch, instruction three blah 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 again. So uh, in the not taken, uh, it will uh, make the execute instruction one, then uh, afterwards instruction three. In the case of branch, it will do it to the tutorial. So, the predictor state was initially not taken. The branch outcome was taken. This means that we have a misprediction. So, a misprediction is yes. Afterwards, what will be the predictor state before prediction? It would be taken. Taken and taken is not a misprediction. Here we have taken, taken, and not misprediction again. In this case, we'll start by taken. What will happen? is the branch after evaluation would not be taken so we'll flush next instruction and uh, get the instruction back into the pipeline in the correct order where the branch wouldn't be taken and uh, in this case execute instruction three again so it's yes misproduct pr predicted so not taken and taken yes misprediction. Uh, here it's taken not taken Yes, misprediction. Uh, not taken and taken. Yes. Here we have taken and taken. No, it's not misprediction. Here we have taken and taken. No, it's not misprediction. Here we have taken, not taken. It's yes, misprediction. Not taken and taken. Yes, misprediction as well. Taken, not taken, and uh, till the end will follow the same uh, sequence. So let's go to the much more interesting part. Um, this is a two bit predictor. If we start by a uh, branch a predict taking and a taken uh, branch comes afterwards. I will complete in the predict taken stage. If it's not taken, I will go to another predict not taken stage, but it's T1. This means that uh, we, we preserve a memory once. We give the processor once, one, one, another chance, another chance to think, another chance to uh, take the branch, the next instruction. So uh, if we have the Predict this predict taken is to take t2. This predict taken is t1. Predict not taken is n2, n1. How could we fill the table uh, now? So 
N2. We're starting by N2. We're starting here. And we took the taken. The, the branch outcome was taken. So yes, it was mispredicted. And the next predictor stage would be N1. N1 and taken. Yes, mispredicted. And so we're going to shift to T1. We're going upwards here. So T1 and T, no. Uh, T uh, here, we had taken again. So we go to T2. T2, it uh, uh, takes, uh, th th then the branch outcome was not taken. So it, TS was mispredicted. So not taken here. From T2, we go back to T1. So the next one would be predicted as taken. So it's not mispredicted. So taken and taken. Here we get back to T2. T2 and N. Uh, taken to and not taken would get us back to yes, mostly predicted. And uh, the state will be, will be T1. Uh, T1 and T, no. Get us back to T2. Uh, T2 and T, it revolves back around T2, so it doesn't change its state. So it's not misprojected. So T2 back and taken again. Not misprojected. We're here T2, but here unfortunately comes a not taken branch. So yes, it's misprojected again after a series of laws. Uh, that gets us back to T1, T1 and taken, not mispredicted. T, uh, uh, then uh, we come here uh, to T2, yes, mispredicted. I'll tell you why we're uh, doing that yes or no thing after I finish the schedule. Uh, T2 and N gets us back to T1, which is, uh, comes here to no, it's not as predicted. T1 and T gets us back to T2, and here revolving back around T2. Here, uh, no, and no. So we get back here with T2. Uh, not taken. We're going here to yes, mispredicted. And uh, we're coming to the end now. Uh, here we are going to T1, T1 and T no, and here we're in T2, yes, mispredicted. So here we mispredicted the branch and uh, uh, 1, 2, uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 times we mispredicted predicted the branch outcome using the 2 bit uh, predictor. If we go to the uh, uh, one bit predictor, uh, with, with, with the small portion we did, we mispredicted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and maybe we, we, we have, uh, if we completed the table, we'll have lots and lots of mispredictions. So preserving a memory, preserving a state, would increase uh, the, the, the performance of the uh, branch prediction and would get us to uh, a better overall performance with less stops. Thank you. Please leave your comments at the end of the video. And if you have any questions, please email me. Thank you.